Hi and welcome back. This is a column method subtraction level four brought to you by Maths from Scratch. Now this is the fourth video in our column method subtraction series. So if you've just stumbled on these for the first time, um, just make sure you can make sure you go back and um, check level one, two, three, four, because uh, there might be some things that you may be not too familiar with if you just kind of keep watching this one. And there's a link up or there's a card. I'm sure you can find it somewhere on YouTube. If you've used YouTube before in your life, I'm sure you'll be able to find it. Um, so that's the column method subtraction from scratch playlist. So this is level four. Now, how this is different to level three is that we're going to introduce a new concept. Now, I'm not going to tell you the concept yet because I want to kind of introduce it when we get there. OK, but just to recap from level three, what we saw in level three was the idea of this compensation or borrowing from the number to the left. But we could do that more than once in a question. Now, that still stands. But then this level four just takes that to the next level, okay? So the best way to show you is by just demonstrating this, so we'll see. So we're gonna do example one. So as usual, we always check, as always with column method subtraction, that the top number is bigger than the bottom. And if it isn't, we have to borrow. So if we look at the units column on example number one, this one obviously is, is smaller than three, so we need to borrow. So we're going to borrow from the number two, so that reduces down to a one. And then the one that we've taken lives next to the, the 11 there. 11 subtract 3, well, that's going to give me an answer of 8. Okay, and that's that's fair enough. Now, if we look at the tens column now, we've got 1 subtract 6. Now, if we look, that 1 is still smaller than the 6, so we need to borrow again. So we're going to borrow from this 3. That now becomes a 2. But then where do we write this 1? Well, what we can do is then we write it next to the 1 that we've kind of replaced the 2 with. And how we read that is we read that now as an 11, okay? Now, I like to call this double borrowing or double compensating. Loads of people call it different things. Again, doesn't really matter what you call it, just just get good at it. So it becomes, so now this becomes 11, because we've borrowed one from here. 11 subtract six, well, that's gonna give me five. And then two subtract one, that just gives me one, okay? So the answer to the first one is 158. And so, as you can probably imagine now, this level four, is concerned with introducing this idea of double borrowing okay now you've got to have your wits about you now when you do this because it's so easy to make a mistake with these ones All right example number two so units column nine subtract nine that's straightforward that just becomes a normal zero tens column three subtract four we can't do that because it's lower this reduces to a zero that one now lives next to the 13 13 take away four well, that gives me an answer of nine. Hundreds column now. Again, zero is smaller than the two, so we need to borrow from the four. That reduces to a three. The one that we've taken away from it, we write next to the ten, the zero there. So that becomes a 10. 10 subtract two becomes eight, and then three subtract one becomes two. And so the answer for number two is 2,890. And I'm just gonna tick these, okay? Question number three, or example number three rather, Okay, so now we've got a number in the hundred thousands. So units column, three subtract four, it's too small, so we're going to borrow again. This now becomes a five. Okay, this one that taken off there lives next to the three. 13 subtract four, well again, that becomes a nine. Five take away four, that becomes a one. One subtract zero, well that becomes a one. Okay, now if we look at our thousands column, two subtract four, we can't do. So we're going to borrow 12, take away 4, that becomes 8. This column now then, 2 subtract 4, again, it's too small, so we're going to have to do the double compensating thing. The 1 that we've taken off there lives next to the 12, and lives next to the 2, sorry, so it becomes a 12. 12 subtract 4 becomes 8, and then 2 subtract 1 becomes 1. And so the answer to this one is 118,119. And you can put a little comma there if you wish. So example number four then, last one. So zero take away one, okay, that doesn't work. So we need to reduce this six to a five and then write me one next to there. So 10 subtract one, that becomes a nine. Five subtract seven, okay, we can't do this so we're gonna have to borrow again. So now this becomes a two and then we now read this as a 15. 15 subtract seven, well, that's gonna give me an answer of eight hundreds column two subtract two becomes a becomes a zero right one take away three 
again we can't do so we're going to borrow from the 2 next to it that reduces to a 1 carry a 1 11 take away 3 becomes an 8 ok 10 thousands column 1 subtract 4 we can't do again so we're going to strike that through that becomes a 5 11 take away 4 ok what does that give us that gives us an answer of 7 so you've really got to have your wits about you on this one 5 subtract 7 again again we can't do it this now becomes a 7 I've just done a 7 with a, a line through sometimes I do it sometimes I don't ok maybe I should get better at that but it really doesn't matter put a 1 next to it 15 take away 7 again that gives me an 8 and then 7 take away 1 it gives me a 6 so this one look we've got 3 occurrences of this double compensating so you really have got to be properly on it when you're kind of doing column method subtraction this isn't easy you know like I said in the last videos these these column met these written methods have been developed over hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years um, just to be quick and easy to use and this is why we practice them loads in primary school or kind of um, whatever you call it in America small little schools you know we just practice these to death so we get good right so that's the introduction of what's the kind of that's the lesson on double compensating this is column method subtraction level four so all that's left to do now is for you to have a look at some practice questions okay so those are your practice questions quick five for you to do once you've done those have a quick look at the column method subtraction level four and to work through um, and, and see how you got on with those now if you found that easy i would strongly suggest then you go on to do or to watch column method subtraction level five which is where we start looking at chains of borrowing which is where that's what happens when we've got lots of zeros in the top number okay so thanks for watching and i'll see you soon